Hello everyone, welcome back. I got something a little bit different than my normal fare today. I got a huge omnibus and collected edition and hardcover unboxing. I haven't done one of these in forever. This is a 47 pound oversized diamond comic book box containing I think 11 uh, hardcover collected editions. Um, a lot of these were recommended uh, from a channel which I'm going to promote. I'm not going to promote where I bought the books from, but instead I'm going to promote this channel because this guy is awesome. Uh, he goes by Illuminerdy on uh, YouTube and Instagram and everything. He feels like what Jim Mint like used to be, like when he would do omnibus reviews and uh, talk about comic books. Like this guy definitely has a lot of passion for it, and um, he knows his stuff. And I really like hearing his take on books. So a lot of these are recommendations from him. I also used his promo code to get a discounted rate for getting multiple books at one time. So with no further ado, let's bust into this box and let's take a look at what we got. Okay, like I said, this is a pretty serious haul. Um, these are always shipped very, very well. That's why I keep buying. Um, and uh, they always arrive in very, very good condition. So um, let's do this one first. See what we got in here. Okay. Man, these are nice books. All right. First one up, we have got Rick Remender's Deadly Class Volume 4 um, hardcover. So this one's called Kids Will Be Skeletons. Um, I have been, I've got another book from Rick Remender in this lot too. I have been kind of critical of Rick Remender as far as like his politics, but man, I can, I keep coming back to Rick Remender stories. Um, I'm like very uh, topsy-turvy on him. I love him some days. I hate him some other days, but uh, this is a, this is probably one of the best comic books I've ever read. Deadly Class. Think of uh, the Goonies, the Sandlot, a coming of age type story mixed with uh, Kill Bill and assassins and martial arts and that that same thing of like Game of Thrones and Walking Dead where you don't know who's going to die next. And then mix that with like that teenage angst of a uh, coming of age story. And then you get this, which is right up my alley. I love coming-of-age stories. Those are some of my favorite movies. This is a must-read, and I can't wait to see how this ends. I hope Rick Remender sticks the landing in this, which I think it will. So many comic book stories, unfortunately, disappoint in the end. Um, but I think, I think this one's going to be good. So I'm anxious to see how this one ends. Speaking of Rick Remender, already... Can not know what this book is. Is uh, this was recommended by Illuminati? This is a righteous thirst for vengeance. This collects uh, issues number one through eleven, and the artist is um, Andre Lima Arahu Aruhu. I don't know how to speak Spanish, but anyway, um, this is supposed to be a very quick read, a very violent read. Um, obviously another non-superhero story, which is kind of my thing. I, 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 I seem to tend to lean towards non-superhero comics nowadays. Um, or if they are superheroes, I want a different take on them where it's not just the same run-of-the-mill type stories. But again, this was recommended by that Illuminati channel, and um, I'm anxious to see what it's like. Uh, these next two books need no introduction, which you probably already saw the spine. Um, these are the hardcover compendiums for Invincible. I've got volume one, and then I've got volume two right here. Volume three is coming out, uh, I think, in November, which coincides with the release of the um, the Amazon Prime show return, I believe it's coming back in November. So I had the uh, soft cover uh, Invincible books, but I love Invincible too much to just have soft covers. Um, and uh, I want to read this book again 
to my understanding, there is no difference as far as, uh, you know, the pages and, uh, you know, the quality of the book as far as what the compendiums were. Only you're getting this beautiful hardcover with these very nice spines and all the spines are the same. It just it just feels like um, this is the type of treatment that a story like this should get. There are other versions of this. There are the oversized copies, but they're even more expensive and there's so many more volumes. Um, these are not cheap. These are MSRP of $100, but um, I got them significantly cheaper. I think I got them for 72 bucks a piece along with the discounts. So I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, the last one in this little box here is the Fantastic Four Hickman uh, second volume. So I have volume one over there. I don't know if you can see that on camera, um, but this is the the conclusion of that. So a lot of the stories you get in this are going to be like the Council of Reeds with Nathaniel Richards and uh, Valeria. Future Foundation. The Future Foundation stories are in that, which are very good. Um, it kind of leaves you on a cliffhanger at the end of that Volume 1 omnibus, so I'm excited to jump back in. Hickman is very good at world building and making interesting superhero stories like what he did with uh, the Avengers and um, X-Men. So I'm excited to read this and see how this one finishes up. Okay, let's take a look at this other bundle here. Okay. Now, several books that I also ordered are on back order, unfortunately. So they didn't ship all of them together, but they did ship a good chunk of them. And uh, these next ones are... Um, the Omnivore edition of Chew. This is volume four and volume five, volume two and one. So I've read volumes two and one, but I got them in something called the Smorgasbord edition. Um, the Smorgasbord edition is a absolute size, so it's a oversized book. These are uh, a smaller format, but still hardcover um, and significantly cheaper. Also, the Smorgasbord edition is out of print uh, as far as the second and third volume. So unfortunately, um, I'm not able to get those and I'm not overpaying for those on the secondary market. So if you don't know what Chew is, Chew is a very original story about a detective who um, can taste something and he can piece a puzzle together. He can solve a mur murder, sol solve a mystery by tasting something. Um, it's a very interesting take on the detective story. Incredible art in this. Um, it's hilarious. It's dark. Um, and uh, I'm anxious to see how it goes. Like I said, I've only read the first and second volumes so I don't know quite how the story will go, but it was a page turner from what I read. And uh, it's very adult and uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, the next thing I have here is something very new, which is 8 Billion Genies by Charles Soule and Ryan Brown. So this is a uh, comic that's actually been relatively newly released. I think this is an image book. Yeah, this book got hot as far as the first printing of the first uh, issue uh, because it, it seemed like that was something that could get optioned and blah, blah, blah. But I read the first issue, I, th I think it was the second printing, and I was like, oh my God, what a great idea. Eight billion genies, eight billion people in the world. What if every single person had a um, had a wish. So um, what would the world become if everybody made their, their wish or they made them all at one time? Great idea for a story. Uh, this is, it collects the entire eight issue series. So, okay, the, the series completed. That's good. 
So um, excited to read this one. Uh, this and The Righteous Thirst for Vengeance and Deadly Class will be the first books I read from this little lot here. Um, this is a good one here. This is Batman Under the Red Hood Deluxe Edition. So this is the origin of the Red Hood. This collects uh, Batman Under the Red Hood, collects Batman 635 through 641, 645 through 650, Batman Annual 25, Red Hood, The Lost Days 1 through 6, and pages from Batman 617 through 618. So uh, the Red Hood is obviously uh, Jason Todd, the second uh, Robin. Uh, Jason Todd was beaten to death by Joker with a crowbar, and then... Uh, Jason Todd was resurrected in the Lazarus pit, and he becomes uh, the, the the alternative Batman, the, the a Batman that kills in, in a lot of ways. So um, this is a story I've always wanted to read because I've read Death in a Family. I've read um, you know the origins of uh, Jason Todd, and then I, I have the first appearance of Jason Todd in a CGC 9.6. It's a double key where it's the first appearance of Jason Todd and the first appearance of Killer Croc, but I have not read how he becomes Jason Todd, uh, how he becomes Red Hood. I do have the first appearance of Red Hood, um, but I'm excited to actually read the story. This is a nice sized book, um, and it collects in a, a lot of additional material, so um, that I'm really excited about that one. And last but not least, they've got this one wrapped up a little bit more. Okay. So this is a manga. This is uh, called Attack on Titan Colossal Edition. This is Volume 5. So um, I have read Volume 1 through 3, and that is actually the most recent thing I've completed and um, I don't know how many of you read manga, but this is one to read um, for sure. Uh, I've read some of like the most famous manga. I've read Berserk, I've read Akira, and now I'm reading this. I've also gotten Death Note coming. If you like world building, you like um, zombie-esque stories, Walking Dead-esque stories, you're gonna love this. So the idea behind this story is uh, humanity, civilization, is trapped behind these walls and they're trapped in kind of like an ancient time of uh, technology where these titans, these massive creatures that are humanoid and completely naked, uh, but they don't have any uh, genitalia or sexual organs, they are like trapping humanity behind these walls, uh, preventing humanity from expanding, preventing humanity from, you know, living in nature and in the, in the world. And um, it's kind of the story of uh, these, these characters that are part of this military um, presence, the Survey Corps, Survey Corps, or however you want to say it, that uh, go out and keep humanity safe, hunt titans, and it's, it's a great story that just keeps expanding and expanding the lore. Like, it's a simple enough story that I can explain it to you in five minutes, but everything gets more complex, more complicated, more dynamic um, characters and interactions and relationships and characters die and, you know, the stakes are real. This is excellent. Um, I'm, I need volume four, obviously, before I read five. And I think this is a seven volume uh, set. So I've got the other two coming. Uh, stay tuned. We've got, I've got other unboxings of Omnibus um, coming. And I, I love Omnibus. I love watching Omnibus unboxings and Omnibus reviews. That's honestly what I watch most. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the Omnibus community will welcome me into their community as well. Thank you guys for watching. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.